That cost us an hour messing around with the bricks this morning. Right, first brick course number two, let's get it in. I need to be bit lane now. We've got a lot to do. There we go, all set. So that's going to get us the block and four courses of bricks on top of it. Absolutely soaked, so that's the best thing for them. Honeycombed in the sun. Well, good, beautiful Sunday morning. Ten past eight, Sunday the third of March. When we were here last, was it the delete year day, wasn't it? We were here last, I think, 29th. I think so, yeah. Oh no, the 28th. Anyway, we've been away three days because the, the weather's been bad. So we're back and the weather is absolutely beautiful today. So we've got the boards down, set the pavement. We've just unwrapped the bricks and let me just get, show you how wet they are. Couldn't be any wetter. And these things don't dry out like engineering bricks do. You see a couple of dry ones there. They've been wrapped and rained on. Nice little puddles. Sure, we had to lie down there actually. Yeah, some summer the summer, isn't there? Yeah. Yeah. The sun's going behind the bungalow, so we won't be getting any um, sunshine and there's no wind whatsoever. So we're going to struggle to get these dry. And then um, we've just got a new fan off Milwaukee, which we haven't brought because uh, I thought the bricks were dry. We we'll have to get the air dryer, not the air dryer, the heat gun. <laughs> yeah, so obviously these are going to be moved first because they're going on last. These things are going to get honeycombs, they're absolutely soaked. And we've spotted some nice dry ones down in the main pack. And we're using Chepstone Multis again with the black brick on dark, the blue engineering's on top. Like I say, we're copying that wall down there. Let's get these out of the way, get some loaded out there, and I'll get a mix on. Oh, yeah. There's our instant corner. Straight on the floor. It'll be on block pain, but that'll be clean with brick ash when we're finished. So let's get on with it. Oh um, one other thing, the water is a bit of water in there, but the many people suggested to us we've we requested and received how to find it. Side. <coughs> Hydroplastic pump. So I'm gonna get that out and give it a whirl. Grab ourselves a 12 volt battery. You know, little rascals. that then let's see what happens let's send it that way I'll put a bucket there let's see where it goes first hey, that's cool that well our, our um, commenters commented and we listened and then um, Milwaukee joined in, chucked that dirty water, chuck it in the gutter. Thank you, all in the skip. Yeah, the gutter will do. It'll, it'll wash that sand away. Do you want to get a connection on it so we can control where it goes? We haven't got a connection, we haven't got anything with us.
Right, there we go. We're down to our pack, which looks damp, but usable, which is a relief. But even when we stack them, we're still going to honeycomb them, just to give them that extra bit of a chance. But even, you'll see there's no sun getting around here today. Winter sun, so it's probably not going to go with the bungalows today. That's why I've got these stacked on the skip. So, um, obviously we can't use the blues first, they're last. And we can't load them out on the pavement, we can't leave them there overnight. So they've got to be shifted somewhere out of the way. And also you've got the sun coming through the gap there for now. And these are all, these are all the ones that are loose on the pallet, you can see. See how wet they are. Absolutely soaked, so that's the best thing for them. Honeycombed in the sun. We've also got the heater over there. It's on the blues, but I'll probably stick it on the reds because obviously they're getting used first. These are very porous bricks. These take a lot of water. For, for the, for, so for the water to be coming, running off them like that, they're absolutely saturated, which means they're going to take longer to dry. So these things are going to be sat here for a good 24 hours. Um, in the skip out of the way, can't fall on anyone. And there's a bit of moss on top of the bricks, so I'll actually just, just go that way with it, mate. That's it. Bit of moss in the feather of the brick, so we're just getting that out now while, we, while it's easier. So yeah, Alex is all set up over there while I've been sorting the bricks out. It's frustrating. Well, there's not much we could have done because we couldn't exactly come here yesterday and do it because it was absolutely mashing. Yeah, all day. We've had three days of rain. Like you, like you saw, they were all wrapped, but they must have gone in the, into the wrapping wet. So, um, yeah, so the, the blues are going to dry. They'll probably be done in an hour, but it's the reds that are the problem. So, um, let's get these open and get some brick loads out. Oh, yeah, the, um, the pump's great. It's just, it's down to very shallow. So, obviously, it can't, put, it can't pump from, to nothing. So it's got the bulk of the water out, so um, the rest of it will just have to bucket out. Um, yeah, let's get a look out first. Soon loads out with our trusty tongs. We're actually uh, trying to get them made by somebody, but we'll, we'll see. Watch this space. Yeah, the blues, once the sun's on the blues, they dry out really quick. Because they're, they're bone dry already. They have the dryish ones, but they're bone dry now. Even these are get coming on. You can, it's, it's actually quite warm, that you can feel it. You can see that was dripping before the top of the bit's getting dry. So it's, it's doing its job. So we've we've loaded out a good a good amount for us to get stuck into. Everything's set out, boards set out, blocks set out. We just need to get the last bit of water out, get the laser level set up and get that block set up for our line through. People are asking why we use the the um, 7 newton block on the bottom. It's just to um, <clears throat> it's just to uh, reduce the amount of concrete you use because the concrete's very expensive. That uh that little bit there, that took a ton of ballast and um, half a day's uh, mixing and cement. The cement, I went down, I think about six or seven cement. So um, if we keep it down a bit, we can just throw the cheap layer of block in. And also once that block's in, that's the wall set out. That's 215 mil that block. So once it's in, that's our wall to follow. And with me being so uh, so bloody crippled at the moment, it gets us out of the ground a bit quicker as well. That concrete's actually lower than we wanted because we ran out at this end, so we had to drag it all down this end to try and level it rather than have a step in it and have it thinner at one end. So yeah, um, pillars being moved in, obviously. Drive's coming back in here. And yeah, that's it. Ready to get cracking. And we're going to be lining through with that wall, I think. Maybe not, judging by the look of it. We we're just going to pin into that, but um, let's go and have a look. I don't think we're going to be able to do that. Too 
Fuße. Hmm. Maybe not. Maybe not. Top bit's built plumish, but. Hmm. See the bottom there. We'll be able to pin into it, but we'll have to plumb our bricks. Oh, yeah, these got to be cut off as well. Just in line with that. And we'll put a couple of screw tires in just to, just to give this wall a bit of strength. It's already got these fishtails into the post. But we'll, uh, we'll help it out with our wall as well. There we go. Oh, it's a stack of the really wet ones ready to go. These can go on the bottom and at the back. So, time to crack on. Are we nearly there, Al? Yeah. Keep it on the dry side. Yeah. Yeah. Nice one. I hate this bit when you're trying to line up with the existing. As that stands now, it's just that lump there on that for second board. I put it in there like that. Right, boom. Um, Set. So we'll, we'll pin the line into that wall as we go up, but we'll have to plumb each brick. Yeah. Right. Let's have a dollar. All set. So that's going to get us the block and four quarters of bricks on top of it. And then once, by the time we go up to there, this will be well gone off and get the profile set up on it then. Plenty of access for the customer down that side. And plenty of room for people to walk past. As you see, there's, no, there's been one car go past since we got here this morning. And it's a very quiet Sunday. And there's still plenty of room on the pavement for people to get past. Not um, all crap spread all over the place like that idiot in the comments said. So, um, yeah, we're going to get these blocks in and we're going to have a break. So, we'll catch you in a bit. That end, mate. Pardon? All the crap's been brushed off, not took it out. I just brushed it out. So I've got regularish beds. Yeah, they get bigger as they get to the middle. Yeah. Well, we we'll can get a line set down, can't we? Yeah. All right, break over. You can probably hear the heat gun still blowing away. Those are on. Should be able to see the laser there. So let's get these blocks.
Yeah. You got a book now, Lal? Yeah. Can you speak your oversight, please? Pardon? I've got three nine fives. It's the top of the block. There's the boat level. It's only in his hapers. Oh. I didn't need the boat level. 395? Yeah, 395 I have. 395? You sure? No. Yeah. Can you go on again, please? Yeah, 395. Right. Can you get it down? Yeah, I'm on 410 here. Yeah, get it down over there for you. As tight as you can. So I can take it out of the wall. Hey? Can you take it out of the wall now? Yeah, can do. We're all lined up, aren't we? That is hard, that anything ground levels are, but that's below ground, so I can't reach in. Not only my hips bad, my shoulders are bad at the moment, so I just uh, I just wish I could stay at home, but um, I can't. So Alex has just put his block in. Uh, we've got about it's about 10 mil at a level at the moment, but we'll get it with the next course of brick, which are half underground, half not. Oh, my hip. So um, once we run the block in, we'll put a line up and run the brick working from that end to this end, and we'll work out where this pillar goes. We'll let the bond the bond judge where the brick goes, not uh, we don't make it a size and then put a piece in the wall, we make it work brick to the nearest half brick. So once Alex is sorted there, we can start getting these things in. That's the bottom one in. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 23 and a half brick long. Or thereabouts. But we're going to check now. So you couldn't have done that with brick. Because um, we've took a load, stuck a load of mortar underneath the pavement there where it's, where it's undermined. So that's that pavement's solid again now. If you do not have brick, we're just pushed. Footing's wet and it's big beds. So you just struggle doing that with brickwork. And um, that's why we use the brick. nice solid base to work off now. I just need to get a couple on so I can get on my feet. I think it's tablet time now. So yeah, levels are set up. Uh, we've got it's 10 minute level at the moment, which we'll soon get. We'll get it in the first bed. And um, we can crack on. Right, about two hours later than I'd hoped, but there you go. My second mix going in. 
and first course set out. Just gotta run that back in. Pull the set out with um, as I said, we start from that end, run the bond this way, and then we make the, the pillar work brick. So the old pillar was in there, and he wanted it 15 inches back. It's probably a little bit, bit less than 15, but it, it's like balanced that because the the, uh, the curbs are just brushing in front of the uh, pillar now. So that looked nice. Um, yeah, once that mix is done, slight. I was going to say slightly wetter, but that's all right, isn't it? May as well keep it as it is, yeah. Yeah, everything's still damp, so. I'm just going to stack the bits up a little bit higher now. Um, hopefully after the next course I'll be able to get off my knees. My, my side's out of the ground already by half a course. Alex is still below the ground by half a course. So um, That end, we're, we're going to bang the, the line into the wall but we're going to have to plumb each, each one of our bricks as we go up because that wall goes out and then back in. So um, we can't follow that which is a bit of a bummer. Um, and then we've got this to follow here. So we've got another three course so we can get on with this before we just put the profile up. Um, so yeah, that's it. I might um No, we don't need the back profile because once the once you run the pillar around you can hook the line onto your actual pillar and run the back back in. And we always run course for course. I hate doing one side then going back and do the other. It never works out right. This you can be perfectly accurate every time. Um, so yeah, that's it. We've got to speed up a bit now. It's been a very frustrating morning. And not, uh, once me, once me bloody, oh, once my tablets start wearing off, I'm fit for nothing. So I'm on my second win now. My tablets have started to work. So um, yeah, I'll just get the rest of this mortar used up on the back here, and then by that time the other mix should be ready. Bricks are looking good. You can see the back ones are still a bit damp because the sun hasn't gone on them yet, but they're still getting there. And these are all, these are all, well you saw this one before, this one has water dripping off it. That's now usable. Yeah, that was actually saturated water, so yeah. No wind, but the sunshine's done the trick. It is actually a warm sun now. Now we're in spring, see there, because they're at the back, they're still a bit damp. And they're safely stacked on the skip out of the way so no one can fall over them, they can't fall on anybody, and they're not in the way. recording that but I missed that as you can see at that top end I put the next course on and then the course on top of that the lines actually pinned into that wall so we can pull it nice and tight so I've pulled it tighter as well and then um, these reinforcements and then um, while he runs that bit in I'm gonna get this this end sorted out End sorted for the next two courses, Al. Pardon? Your end sorted for the next two courses. What do you mean? Oh, thank you. You just need one on the back.
Some of these bricks are deceiving. Eh? Some of the bricks are deceiving, they look dry, but they're bloody not. No. Right, what side? How do we want these bricks to go then? How do we want these bricks to go? Obviously, somewhat of a pattern. Do you want them like. What do you mean? The way the colours are, like red to black. Ch chuck them in. Just because uh, because we have, we didn't we didn't intend to do it. But we've done it over there. It's just the way they mix, mate. You can't do it. You can't. You'll never do that. You'll never get it built. Just make sure they're all the right way up, and the will take care of themselves. There's the right way up. Yeah. Concerning. What? You just went, uh, it's right way up. I can't tell, look at it. Not exactly the best bricks to be able to look, are they? That's where your skill comes in. What should I say? Well, we're out, we're out of the time, Mac. Why is that, why is that off, off the line now? What happened to that? Did I pull this round? Are you not coming from your end? Huh? You're not coming from your end. Oh, I'm new. I need to be bit lame now. We've got a lot to do. Great. Oh shit. What's up? You just leaned on it, that's what moved it. Oh. Just bring me that four inch block, please. The sand. That's it. Give it a tap and it'll lock itself in. That's it. Right, first brick course number two, let's get it in. I'm not even going to look at the time because it'll just depress me. Quarter past so, 12. Oh, wish you hadn't told me that. Back on time lapse. <laughs>
There we go. Is that there three on it? Yeah. Very disappointing three. Started on the fourth. Probably our last mix of the day going in. A lot of mortar in on the first course because we mined the pavement so we've filled that back up with mortar. Uh, this little corner's up. Just to get a few cores on, we just used to put the line into the wall so we can pull it tight and then use the fixed brick to hold the line in place. And then I'm doing the pillar as we go. Alex has nearly got this mix on. And then it's job and knock. And it's it's actually quite well, Alex is in his t shirt. Is this, I think it's a UFO up there in the sky there. So, um, really uh, in a lot of pain, but it's not as bad when the weather's nice. So, um, get a bit, we're going to organise ourselves a bit and get ready for a big push to get this bit mix used up. Get as much as we can done today. And then um, get it boxed off tomorrow, as long as the weather behaves. Let's take a look at the bricks now. The sun's come around, so the sun's come right round them. But the, the, luckily the sun's gone above the bungalow so they've actually been in the sun all day and you, you can see how the bone dry even the pallet has dried out just see the remnants of the wet just underneath the bricks where they touch the pallet but even the, even the uh, spot board's drying out and that was saturated so yeah you can see the dry so that's a big relief so tomorrow we just get stuck in straight away that cost us an hour messing around with the bricks this morning hate doing that shouldn't have to um do that with your bricks, they should be dry when they arrive. We've had uh, what, three or four months of wet weather. So um, we'll have to figure out how to cover these tonight. We'll be using some of them up, but we'll see. Here's our little uh, mixing station. Sand, cement, Ferro's new plastic cement, fantastic. A lot cheaper than everybody else by a long shot, by a long way. For now, I'm going to make a special offer because it's new. We'll soon find out. Yeah. But yeah, enjoying it while it lasts. So um, once this mix is ready, we'll crack on. Well, considering the morning we had and that start, I think we've done pretty damn good there. Did you say we're about halfway? Um, six courses in total, we've done. Oh yeah, and a bit, that's just under six. Just under six courses, so that's not awful. But um, what, what is awful? <laughs> 
is that these bricks are still very wet so we're just gonna joint them give them a rough joint can't even see me give them a rough joint now just like one stroke across with the uh, jointer and then tomorrow when it's gone off a little bit we'll get we'll uh, smooth out any uh, rough patches just get it how it get it in a good state now and fix it tomorrow because it's too wet to do anything with and it's going to be cold tonight so that'll still be workable in the morning I'm just uh, cleaning up the stuff now and um, yeah we will catch you tomorrow for the rest of it <laughs>